This is part of a growing movement to hold companies responsible for the deadly epidemic we now find ourselves in, making the case that this is now as much about human lives as it is become about taxpayers' money. See, codeine is 10 times more potent than heroin. By the end of today, some 115 Americans will die from an opioid overdose. And it's not to say today is special. According to the CDC, 115 Americans are dying each and every day from prescription opioids. County today became the latest to file a lawsuit against Big Pharma. We've all gone to too many uh, funerals of young people who have died, of people, in fact, of all ages, who have died from opioid uh, overdoses. <laughs> With 124 opioid deaths in Westchester in 2016, officials joined the growing chorus of cities and counties filing lawsuits against multiple companies. Their accusation? Deceptive marketing, claiming the painkillers were safe. The lawsuit announcement was made alongside Stephanie Marquesano, who lost her 19-year-old son to an opioid overdose. I see this epidemic up close and personal every single day. Chicago was the first city to file suit to hold manufacturers and distributors of opioid prescription drugs responsible, hoping funds from the lawsuit can go towards the outreach, treatment, and emergency services needed now to manage the epidemic. We don't bring people back who've died by seeking financial restitution, but it's my hope that with this kind of an approach, one, the public is getting more information, and two, companies that misled the public, healthcare professionals, the government and other organizations are being held accountable for their actions. The Westchester lawsuit is one of 200 that have been filed across the country. And just as a reminder here in New York City, which has done the same, the mayor says that more people have died from overdoses here last year than people who died from murders and car accidents combined.